But uh, you know what? You know, parents are fucked in all in all aspects. Even fur parents. I've met like some fur parent. You, you know what I'm talking about? People that own pets that are animals. Fur parents. Okay. I don't know why y'all look hella confused. But um, yeah. So. Um, I've, I I meet some like some fur parents are fucking weird, bro. I met this one dude. I was on the TTC, and this guy comes on, and he has a gorgeous dog, beautiful dog. Um, it looked like an adult Cottonelle puppy. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like so cute, and but he looked like a book T monster. Like he looked like a fucking like ogre. So I'm like I'm not gonna approach it at all. Like I'm just gonna admire the dog from the side. Not everyone had this thought, okay? This one woman jumps up and she's like, oh, puppy! And this dude yanks his dog. He's like, get the fuck off my door. I don't go around rubbing your children. I was like, yo, thank you. Thank you very much for not doing that kind, sir. I appreciate you very much. Like, what the fuck? Bro, dude, I was, I was with this one dog owner. Um, yeah, she's, she's honestly one of my best friends. She's super cool. She has this dog. His name, he's, he's, he's a total, he's like fully black. He's half black lab, half husky. Um, his name's Oreo, right? You guys know Oreo? Oreo's a dope dog, okay? He's black, but he acts white, so it's, it's dope. Um, and so we're chilling, and they, we're, we're hanging out, and this Great Dane comes by, and this Great Dane's a fucking Great Dane, all right? And so my friend goes, she's like, what do you feed your dog? And I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure it's fucking genetics, all right? Like, what do you mean, what do you feed your, you think, you think that because, like, of what it eats, it's this big? Like, what, like, do you go around to chihuahuas? Like, you should really feed it more. Like, what, like, no, bro. Obviously, she just wanted to know, like, if it was Imes or Pedigree or whatever the fuck, but I don't know. It was funny, man, it was funny. God damn, I'm gonna sit, y'all. This is tiring up here. Oh, my head. The job I had. Oh man. All right. I gotta treat my body better, yo. Anybody else feeling this? Anybody else get to like 26? I'm 26 now, by the way. My birthday was two days ago. What's up? Yeah, yo. Fucking, my body's deteriorating. Just, just straight deteriorating. But I treat it like shit, as like to be honest. I'm, I'm one of those people that like, if I'm constipated, instead of like going on a cleanse, I'll just eat diarrhea inducing food, you know? And just fucking blow it all out that way. It's, it's, it's awesome, and I'm lactose intolerant, but I don't give a fuck about that. Because I realized a long time ago that charcuterie boards fit perfectly on your lap when you're taking a shit. And it's just, it's the best, yo. You guys like charcuterie boards, bro? Yeah. Charcuterie boards are the shit, bro. They're so good, but they're hella expensive, dude. I don't get it. Like, charcuterie board is like a payday thing for sure, all right? Any other day of the week, I'm grabbing like six Lunchables from fucking Food Basics and just going and creating a thing. You know Lunchables, bro? Lunchables are like the OG charcuterie board, okay? You know, like, the dude who fucking made charcuterie definitely had too many Lunchables as a kid and just like, I gotta evolve this as I evolve into adulthood. And Charcuterie, awesome. But due to my horrible um, eating habits and stuff, I have hemorrhoids now. Yay! You guys have hemorrhoids. You look like you're old enough to have hemorrhoids, for sure. Um, it's weird. People, whenever I say I have hemorrhoids, they're like, at this age, I'm like, yeah, I treat my body like shit, man. I don't know what to tell you. I just can't wait to um, fucking have them cleared. It's just annoying because, okay. When you go to get like hemorrhoid medication, the fucking, the cream is called Anisol. <laughs> Anisol, bro. Are you kidding? If I have a rash, I gotta get something called Betazine. Who the fuck, who, what's Betazine? Nobody knows what the fuck Betazine is, but Anisol, everybody knows I do butt stuff now. You know what I mean? Like, everybody knows. Are you kidding, bro? The fuck? Hemorrhoids is so annoying, dude. I can't wait for them to heal and I can finally get pegged. That's. That's my dream right now, bro. Getting a nice, good peg in, dude, right? I'm just, listen, I would do it now. I ain't no punk bitch, you know? I take the pain. I'm just worried about one of them popping like a strawberry gusher on top of the girl's sheets and shit, you know? Like, that's just, it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna do that, you know? I'm just, I'm trying to be considerate and all. Yes, the girl's sheets, yo, I'm a broke ass comment. You think I'm gonna risk my mama's sheets? Are you crazy? It's just, that's not happening, bro. Moving these around. Um, yeah. <coughs> Y'all look at me weird when I talk about pegging, bro. Y'all didn't know that the male G-spot's in the rectum? Have you guys not known this? 
I didn't put it there, but the male, this guy's looking at me hella confused. The male G-spot is in the rectum, okay? Lay on your back and have your wife pretend like she wants to just go up and in the same way. Anyway, the male G-spot's in the rectum, all right? I didn't fucking put it there, but I will inform y'all on some things. Bev, honey, listen up. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna inform you on uh, a little, listen, there is a mutual G-spot. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but I saw you do this when I'm talking about G-spots and, and uh, so, yo, yo, I'm gonna talk to you after the show. God damn, god damn. You got those marble fingers too, yo. That shit's ripped for your pleasure. I know it that much. Um, anywho, what was I talking about? Pagging, thank you. G-spots. Uh, all humans have a mutual G-spot, all right? Pans as well, male, female, whatever. We all got a mutual G-spot. And it's located in the ear, okay? You take one of those fuzzy ear dildos, I think they're called Q-tips now, and you fucking get that right in there, bro. Get that leg shake, Ooh. I do it at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking, that's, that's how men multiple orgasm, I'll tell you that right there. Um, yeah, dude, it's just, and it's so, and people are like, are you fucking, what? You're not supposed to do that? It says on the box, it's like, don't put these in your ear. That's because the government doesn't want you winning, okay? It's exactly why they fucking do that shit. Fuck that noise, man. Oh, man. It's weird, yeah, dude, getting older and shit, and like, I've, I've never had to worry about farting during sex. You know, it's weird. It's it's such a trip, um, cause like before when I was younger, I'm like sex about to go down. My whole body shuts down. Sex comes up like golden. You know what I mean? But now I'm like, oh my god. I just I treat it different. I treat it like a road trip. I'm like, did I pee? Do I have enough water? Like, did I stretch? Am I, dude? Stretching's real, bro. My back's the worst. You ever blow a back out while blow, blow your back out while you're blowing a back out? It's the fucking <laughs> It's the worst thing, dude. It always happens around like hour 20, hour 40, and you're, it just explodes, and you're just like, ah, and you collapse, and you're just, are you, and she's just like, are you okay? And I'm just like, I just wanna lay here for a second, baby, with you, is that okay, like, please? Just fucking make it all romantic, but really, you're like, your back is just, it's just not, yeah, it's, it's horrible. Whew, what time is it right now? Huh? 10.01. Yes, Do you know what time I started? I totally should have fucking timed this. I thought I was at like 45 minutes. I'm horrible with time, bro. What is time? Time's a construct, dude. Do you have, yo, time on shrooms is a different fucking story of shit. Okay. Yeah, you guys like shrooms? All right, real quick shroom story. Um, so I was on shrooms with my boy during the time where public bathrooms were illegal. You remember that? Remember where like you couldn't take a piss anywhere? And so, me and my boy were on shrooms, we're in the woods, we're hanging, and I, okay, full disclosure, I have a shy bladder. So if I'm like sober and if I like hear people or if someone's like beside me, I'm like, I can't piss, like, you know? Unless I'm drunk. If I'm drunk, I'm on the table, I'm like, golden showers, who wants it? Like, fuck yeah, you know what I mean? But on shrooms, it's even worse, because no matter where I am, it's like the spirits are watching, I can't pee, you know? <laughs> It's just, it's so bad. And so we're walking around and um, my boy is from Lebanon, like fresh off the boat. I met him in 2019 at a protest for Lebanon. You know, like he just came in that summer. And so we're walking around and we're fucked and we're trying to pee, but there's no place to pee. I'm like, dude, let's just go behind this school. Like nobody's there. He's like, I'll get deported. I'm like, okay, cool. Like he's just, he's so worried. And so we're walking, we're walking, we're trying to fucking find a bathroom and everything is locked and this dude snaps. He's like, Habibi, look, look here. Look at all these buildings. Look at the buildings, all these buildings. I bet everyone has bathrooms. And I'm like, yeah, they do, bro. Welcome to Canada, what the fuck? He's like, but we can't use them, dude. Bro. We Ubered home. We did not use the washer. We literally just Ubered home. How fucking, right? Isn't that sad? Why did I say that during a comedy strip? Damn, I'm sorry guys. I should've done this better. 